Hello, I'm Christopher Kapik, and I have been working on a template for building business websites using Astro. So this is basically a starter Astro project with a couple extra additions. Specifically, there's a little bit of UI that's pre-configured so you can use like a, a 12 column layout, which I find is conducive to having good structure on a page, as well as a contact form, icons, and OG image generation. So like if you wanna have dynamic you know, like blog posts or something, you don't want to have to create an image for each one. You can use the OG Im image generation for that, as well as an image uh, optimization component with Svelte. Now there are image optimization components for Astro, just default ones, but I wanted to use Svelte. Um, there are a couple of special criteria that I wanted to hit. <clears throat> Specifically, I came across this video uh, by Coder1, which is a great demonstration of this library called blur hash which essentially takes a string you can take an, an image and generate a string that's like the the blurred image and it's small enough that you can just store it in your database which can be really useful so essentially i wanted a component that uses this and i wanted to match as much as i could the uh setup for the next image component and image optimization so in order to do that this is the um the project First, I made a route using uh, Sharp. There's a blog post I followed. I'll link that down in the description below, as well as I'll, I'll link all of these things as well. So I was using a blog post from Sharp, which is designed for Next.js, but I was able to use it for Astro as well. Basically, this just uh, returns an image as a WebP file with the width and height that I want, as well as the quality parameter that I pass in. I also created, oh, it also, it also um, adds cache uh, headers. I also uh, did a similar thing where I generate the blur hash and I also cache this response. So basically I have the image and I have the blur hash. They're both gonna be cached by the CDN. So uh, after the first load, they should both be fairly quick. Then I created in this dot astro blending component subdirectory. These are all of the components that are just built in to this, this starter template. Uh, so this is a, a Svelte component. And more or less, I tried to match the uh, the definitions and the the uh, structure of the Next.js image, op image optimization. And basically what this does is it fetches the blur hash, or you can pass in the blur hash as well. This I had to wrap uh, as, a, as a promise. I don't know if there's a better way to do this because if I don't do it this way, then the blur hash just doesn't work. If I just use the the constant value that I pass in. Anyway, that's for if you want to look at my code and see if you can improve it. If you're just trying to use it, it's already, it's working fairly well. I'm happy with how it is right now. So basically I just followed the video and the documentation for blur hash. One thing that's different between my setup and the setup from Coder1 is that in my setup, this is using Svelte and, and it's a custom component and his, he's using a React component and it's it's from a library. So really, I would, I would say probably go with his if you're using React for your project, but I'm not. So anyway, the way that this works is it creates, this component is a div with an, a canvas and an image. These are both positioned um, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, uh, relative to the div. So they're, they're on top of each other. The image goes on top of the canvas but the image is lazy loaded. So while the image is waiting to load, the canvas shows up and this uh, this on mount section right here uh, in this felt component fetches the blur hash, which should be quick again after the first one because it'll be cached um, and paints it to the canvas. Or if it's not fetching it, it's because you passed it in as a prop to the image component. I've just been kind of messing around on my index page. Uh, this is a little bit of a mess right now. So if you, if you actually use the project as it stands, I mean, you're going to be changing the index page anyways, because it'll be for whatever project you're working on. So I'm not really wor that worried about it. I more want the components to be like designed well, but eventually I might make this. So it's, it's pretty, and it's got like a nice starter page that you can, you know, every framework it's like you're using this framework or whatever. This isn't a framework, but hopefully you understand what I mean. So basically, uh, we take an image, we pass in the source, just like a regular HTML image. Um, we can set the quality between one and a hundred. This is using the, Svelte, uh, the Sharp library. Fill. This is a property on the Next.js image optimization um, component. So again, I was just trying to, to copy that more or less. And then the important thing here that's special to Astro is you need to have this client only equals felt thing. Actually, I don't know if you can use the other ones. I haven't tested it with that. I've just used client only this whole time and I, I haven't really had a problem with that. So it might be better if you say client load or something like that. I don't know when, when let's see.
when the import completes. Okay, similar to client load. Okay, so this is probably what you want. Is you would want the blur hash to appear before before you scroll down to something, so then it's it's like the blurry image is there right away. And then using image lazy loading, which is what we're doing in the image component, if you go, uh, if you don't say set priority, then it's going to be lazy. If you do set priority, it'll be it'll be eager. But basically, what lazy loading means is that it won't load the image until after it is scrolled into view. So we kind of get the um, load immediately for the blur hash and then wait until the image shows up with lazy loading, which I think is a, a pretty good setup. Um, and, oh, also uh, for the source, it so the way this works is that you pass in the original URL uh, for the image that you want, and then the component um, URI encodes it and then passes it to this WebP optimizer which is how we do all the transformations that we want to do. Okay, hopefully that made some sense. Uh, I thought this was a pretty nifty solution. Uh, if you want to take a look at the code, that'll be linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. Um, also linked below will be all of the other sites that I mentioned. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you have any ideas for improvement, I would love to hear that as well, because I do want the starter to be pretty solid. I have other starters that I want to build off of this and potentially sell as like starter things or whatever, but I want this to be good first. And this is like completely open source. Um, I don't know if I give it a license or anything. I don't think I thought that far ahead, but yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Thank you for watching. And I hope this was helpful. All right. Bye.